guys! Today I'm going to review the Avengers and this one's called Return of the Cybernauts. <laughs> Return of the Cybernauts was broadcast in 1967 on the 30th of September. It's from Season 5, Episode 17 and is a sequel to the Cybernauts from Season 4, Episode 3. In this story, Peter Cushion stars as Michael Goff's brother from the first one, seeking revenge and using the Cybernauts. It was directed by Robert Deere it was written by Philip Levine, who also wrote the first Cybernaut story. Frederick Yeager also returns as Benson, who played the same character in the Cybernauts. This time the story is filmed in colour and runs 51 minutes. The Cybernauts would return for one final time in 1976 in the new Avengers, called Last of the Cybernauts. Return of the Cybernauts stars Patrick McNee as John Steed, Diana Rigg as Emma Peel, Peter Cushion as Paul Beresford, and Frederick Yeager as Benson. So in this one, Peter Cushion plays the brother of Michael Goff's character in the first one, and he's out for revenge using the Cybernauts. And it's a wicked story, he's kidnapping all these scientists. He's wanting them to invent a way of punishment for when he gets Emma Pale and John Steed. He's wanting to really punish them. So he's a really sadistic bugger in this. And uh, Peter Cushions, his usual brilliant self. Successful in what? Destroying those who killed my brother. Oh, I could have hired some killers, paid assassins. But that would have been too quick and I don't want anything quick, gentlemen. You are men of ideas. Produce me an idea, a new idea. A rhapsody of suffering. And this is from season five, which is probably the best season of the Avengers, with it being in colour. The previous season was in black and white, even though it had great stories. I think the Avengers is at its peak when it's done in colour, because it, it's a colourful show. And I think it's brilliant casting in this story to, to get Peter Cushing in playing the brother of Michael Goff. And you actually see some footage of Michael Goff, Peter Cushing's character shown this group footage. And Michael Goff's on. And the character of Benson returns as well from the previous story. That's great continuity. So the scientists make these people that, that they find a way of making them like cybernauts, like human cybernauts. So the person who's controlling them could make them do whatever they want. They can't do anything to stop themselves doing it. And there's a total weird scene where he gets Emma Pale under control. So he, he Peter Christian's character can make her do whatever he wants and she'll know she's doing it she's unable to stop herself and the, there's a scene where it's kind of like insinuated what he's got planned Emma come here you obey me immediately I like that is anything more gratifying than obedience from a beautiful woman yeah, we all know what bloody Peter Cushing has planned for her. Also in this story, it's kind of like insinuated that Emma Pale and John Stade, there's a little bit more going on in the relationship. Stade's a bit jealous that Emma Pale's getting friendly with Peter Cushing's character. And there's one scene where she asks him if he's jealous. And after that, great pains. <laughs> Steve, you're jealous. Oh no, I wouldn't say that, Mrs. Peel. Hey, Phil, you know why bloody John Steed's always got a bloody smirk on his face? It's because he's bloody banging Emma Pale. <laughs> no bones, I don't believe that. Hey, Phil, another bugger is Bosley. Out of bloody Charlie's Angels, he's always got a bloody smirk on his face. I know why he has an now. Banging them three buggers. <laughs> no bones, I think you've got that wrong. <laughs> There's some great moments in this episode. I particularly like the scene where a cybernaut's approaching this man in a car. And as usual, the car won't start properly. And the cybernaut's walking slowly towards the car. Great tension in that scene. And 
I think the Cybernauts are really menacing in this story. Probably at the best. There's quite a few action scenes like that. There's also a really weird character, this blonde secretary. She's like a proper dizzy character, totally dumb. But what do you expect with her being blonde? Before the photographers arrive, I've got a super bikini. It's ever so revealing. Do you know I've nearly been arrested twice wearing it? Yeah, that bloody blonde bloody secretary's bloody thick as shit. How the hell did she get a job, Phil? Was she bent on the bloody knees to get it? <laughs> So in this story there seems to be like more of an effort all round with it. Great direction, great sets and it looks lush, the colour. Another interesting thing is the use of actors in these TV shows. Like this is a great example getting Peter Cushing to play one of the characters. And a lot of oldish TV shows use great actors from films in them. For instance Space 1999. There's a couple of episodes where one's got Christopher Lee in and one's got Peter Cushing in. So that's one of the best things about these old TV shows. Great actors that you like in films. For instance, Oliver Reed's been in The Sea Ant. And that's one of the fun things about watching them. Seeing who's going to pop up next. The Blu-ray's got it all digitally remastered. And you also have the option of watching old adverts as well. So it's a great episode, it's hard to decide if it's better than the Cybernauts because I love that one as well. But with this one, with Peter Cushion being in, with it being in colour, it has a little bit of an edge I think. But I'll rank all three of the Cybernauts stories after I've watched the last one. The last of the Cybernauts from the new Avengers. So what would I give it out of 10? Easy, I'm definitely giving it top marks. 10. 10 out of 10. Do you think Bones are doing like it? Top marks, Phil. Best of the Cybernauts trilogy. Okay, everybody. Bye. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye.